I probably watched all of Channel 5 ABC soap operas. I probably started with Ryan's Hope, which was on at 12.30, and started then with all my children, uh, One Life to Live, and then General Hospital. I discovered the poor Charles, started watching that, and then I just, eventually I was watching all my children, and then One Life to Live, and then General Hospital. If your family did watch like a certain network, certain ones, that family continues to watch the same. I do remember that she listened to him mm -hmm. every evening. One was when a young girl marries, mm -hmm. and the other one was Portia Faces Life. They were on, I think it was 5 and 5.15. It was funny how it was just like watching it on TV now. My mom watched ABC soap operas. And then when I was a teenager in the 80s, as soon as we got off the bus, General Hospital had already started, so we had to run up the driveway to get in so we didn't miss anything. I remember Luke and Laura's wedding. I tuned in basically because I liked the characters. It's, it's almost like you they were part of your family a little bit because you they were in your home every day. The thing I, I disliked about soaps was when they changed my character. I mean, if they put a different actor in my character, I just didn't like it at all. It's like, they'll have that same name, but it's like, who is this? I, I don't recognize this person. I really didn't get into him a lot until after Bud passed away. After he passed away, I had so much free time and during the day. Later on, uh, the kids, when they went to school and stuff, then I had time to sit down and just watch them on my own. But uh, then I just kept watching them all of my life. My dad, he was a, uh, worked in construction, so he'd be lay off, laid off in the wintertime. And uh, he would be drawn into the soap operas too, although he would never admit to that. He would watch them with me. Uh -huh. Yeah. He said he didn't like them and complained about them, but he watched them. <laughs> My husband did. Mm -hmm. I mean, when he would be laid off in the in the winter time, I mean, we would definitely, you know, watch uh, soap operas, and he would, you know, he would ask me questions about it. He he would never probably admit that he watched soaps, but he definitely he watched the soaps. ABC announcing all my children and one life to live will soon go off the air. <laughs> I need you. Frankly, Erica, I don't give a damn what you need. I don't think that's right. No. I think they should have kept the soaps on. I think it stinks. <laughs> now so many people have to work, or they choose to work, mm -hmm. and they're just not home during the day to watch the soaps. I guess maybe it's the younger generation isn't watching the soap operas. That I think there's still people out there, there's still enough people out there that would still enjoy watching them, but they shouldn't take them off. But it just won't be the same no. that they're not on. I wouldn't be totally surprised if soap operas don't come back. Maybe it will be because our, the, the generation we're into now are more apt to watch things on online. So it could very well be that it might take off, and I hope it does. Yes, I'll be watching them. <laughs> Good, yeah.